it was scary. We told you how threats. It's always our daughter, and he's gonna get rape her and get her pregnant with a daughter. Were arriving in the mail. And then later on, sacrificed a child. All across the country. How many people are getting these letters? Oh, hundreds. The letters threaten to get girls pregnant with baby daughters, raise them for plunder and extortion, and finally sacrifice the child. Who would do such a thing? This is our senior year yearbook. So. Don Cooper says the letters are from a former Champlin Park High School classmate back in the 1990s. That's him right there. His name, Matthew Dale. This is harassment. What started years ago as threats to old classmates expanded to their aunts and uncles, cousins, even in-laws. But it was a real estate agent in Bellingham, Washington, where Matthew Dale now lives, who finally convinced authorities to file these formal charges for harassment and stalking against him. It was extremely scary, especially in the sense that it came out of the blue, right? This we'll call her Sue, not her real name. Ten years after she helped Matthew Dale find a home, she started getting similar letters, threatening to get her pregnant and sacrifice the child. Terrified, afraid to stay home alone, she installed an expensive security system. I would watch cameras around my home, sometimes for hours in the middle of the night, and just lay there and watch my cameras. She got this protection order against him, but when it expired after a year? Within days, I received the next series of letters. She got another court order against him. But when it expired earlier this year, the threats got even worse. Just look, banging, ravishing until she gets pregnant. So this second round was really about raping me, very clearly. The new criminal charges are based on the specific threats against her, but these police records obtained by CARE 11 show just how widespread the threats have been. A private website for victims with more than 100 members nationwide. 56 of them filing formal complaints with police, including this restraining order request from Matthew Dale's stepmother. In addition to threatening mail, she wrote he once lost his temper and threatened her and his own father with a knife. How do you feel now that he's been arrested? I'm especially happy because with there being over 200 people that have been harassed by him for maybe five plus years, that those people now know he's in jail and have some sort of reprieve. Matthew Dale has been in jail so far, unable to make bail and unable to send new threatening letters since May 15th. His next court hearing is set for June 24th. We'll keep you posted. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm Lauren Lamanchek.